Emily from The Pinning Mama. Welcome back. Um, if you're on, watching from our YouTube channel, hop on over to the blog. It's www.thepinningmama.com. Welcome back to Silhouette Boot Camp Lesson 3. Today is creating curved and shaped text, and it's also called in Silhouette Studio Convert to Path. The simple way I can show you is uh, how to curve a text off of a circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a circle. And in order to make a perfect circle on Silhouette, you want to hold your Shift key down and drag it out. That'll make a perfect circle. Um, I'll make this a little bit bigger for you to see. Perfect. Uh, okay. I gotta center it or it's gonna drive me crazy. All right, next I'm gonna write on here for you guys. I'm gonna write curved text. Curve text. You can choose your font. I, uh, I'm gonna change it to this one. Okay, let's color our text so it's a little easier to see when we're working with it. I'm going to make the text a little bit bigger. Okay. So if I were to click off of that, just click on once and move it down, I can't get it to curve around the circle. So the little, the key is here is you want to double click until you get this green box. And you're going to have this little plus sign. And you're going to hold on to this plus sign. And you're going to pull the plus sign down until you get to the circle. And you're going to hop on. You're going to hop onto that circle. Here you can move the text around. You can add on to your text. Um, you can edit your text, put different fonts on there. Um, whatever it is that you want. But this is where, once you have this green box, this is where you can do all of your editing of your texts. Um, you could highlight it and change your font. Uh, whatever it is that you'd like to do. Um, Another thing is if you want the text to go off, say this was a soccer ball or a baseball and you want the text to go off of it, you come over here, the little slider, and move it up or down to go off of your ball or on your ball, um, and then you can put it back on there. Move it around, you can move it all out, you can move it on the inside of your circle, the outside of your circle, as long as you have that little box in your on your cursor. And another way you could pull it off of the circle is to go release the compound path. You could pull it up. I think the easiest way is to use the little slider, but you can right click and release that compound path as well. So let me show you another example. Let's go over to the Silhouette Library. I'm going to grab a heart that I downloaded already from Silhouette Design Store. Yeah, I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna make this heart a little bit bigger. Let's write on here. Okay, I'm gonna write. All you need is love. Okay. And we are in our green box. We have our little plus sign. We're gonna pop it on down or over there. I'm going to want it over here. Okay. Say I wanted to keep typing all you need is love all, and just keep on going. Say I wanted to go all the way around. Oops, too far. So you kind of have to, when you're trying to fill a whole shape, you have to play around with the lettering. Down here is a great tool. This is character spacing. You can space it far or wide to get it to to get it to go on there correctly. Anyway. Okay. There we go. So anyway, you can move it around, get it to fit. I always have to, I, I play around with different fonts usually when I'm trying to feel, have it fit a certain shape, because certain fonts are better than others on certain shapes. Usually you want to try and get a font that's 
pretty basic, not a lot of curves to it. Usually you do um, all lowercase or all uppercase. Um, that tends to look a little bit better when you're trying to fill a shape, and especially a shape with different, like a star would be really hard. So you'd have to choose a really simple font and probably use lowercase or uppercase, all the same. Um, so anyway, that's kind of the basics on how to curve and manipulate text with shapes on Silhouette Studio. Stay tuned next week. Next week we are going to talk about the crop tool. This is a really awesome tool and I'm so excited to share with you guys about it. Um, so I will see you next week. Thanks you guys.